Wannakam, Yen Peyer, Wang Chen Wei. Ich heiße Sie hiermit herzlich willkommen bei der zweiten Staffel von Human Diaries. I was fascinated with various languages at different points in my life. The first language that sparked my interest was French. Je suis compositeur en résidence à l'Orchestre Chinois de Singapour. When I was very young, my dad worked in a French company and often brought back newsletters in French, which I couldn't read, but I thought looked very interesting. So uh, when I had a chance to learn a third language, when I enrolled in secondary school, I naturally chose French. The first foreign language that I learned with a specific goal in mind was German. Near the end of my junior college days, I discovered that with fluency in German, I had a wide variety of choices for almost free education in Germany, Austria or Switzerland. Wenn Sie Deutsch lernen, können Sie bei uns kostenlos studieren. Oh, wunderbar, wunderbar. Merhaban, eine aktuelle Kalender. Shalom, Anikote, Privet. I don't like to claim how many languages I know because my area of knowledge varies for each language and I am always learning. So my language of focus actually changes depending on what I'm working on in a particular year. For example, in 2016, I was working on three Indian themed uh, pieces and I weaved in Sanskrit texts to be sung or chanted in my compositions. What happens is I write a poem and then the poem is Kas Jit Kanta Viraha Guru Nala and so I use the same speech rhythm and translate it to music. Kas Jit Kanta Viraha Guru Nala When I entered JC, I knew I was going to compose a lot more for Chinese orchestra in the future, and so I consciously tried to learn as many instruments as I could get my hands on. To compose optimally for any instrument, it would be ideal for the composer to know how to play it. This is especially true for Chinese instruments because each instrument has specific characteristics and limitations. What I always try to do is to write idiomatically for every instrument, in a way that caters to its strengths and avoids its weaknesses, or as we say in Chinese, yang chang bi duan. One of my most representative compositions is Confluence, which I composed in 2009. It was my first attempt at presenting the diverse cultures in Singapore in a single piece by using Chinese instruments to play melodies in an in Indian and Malay style within the framework of Western compositional techniques. In fact, the SCO made a virtual video of this piece and was shared by Prime Minister Lee on his Facebook. When I'm researching, I always seek to learn as much as possible about the essence of each ethnic musical tradition. For example, to gain exposure to Indian music, I literally walked up to the reception counter at the Temple of Fine Arts and said that I would like to volunteer to perform for any concert. So a few months later, they really called me up to perform for their concert uh, titled Water, where I played the San Xian and Di Zi. Moving ahead, I would also like to delve deeper into issues of identity through my compositions. For example, what does it mean to be Singaporean? What does it mean to be a Chinese Singaporean? How do we attract younger audiences without diluting our heritage? I think topics like these are worth exploring 